Hello everyone. I'm here. Ah! Anyway, I had something funny to say, but I lost it, so... That happens a lot. Uh... Uh, as always, welcome back to Geek Out here in Old Town Burleson. I am your favorite masked, scarlet uh, masked um, oath keeper for uh, the Order of St. George from uh, Something's, Ki yeah, anyway. Something's Killing Children is a great book. It has some really cool imagery. It's really cool stuff. And a few weeks ago, we got the black masks, and now we have the scarlet masks. So... Slowly, we'll just get all the Something is Killing the Children masks, and you can just choose which faction you want to uh, wear a mask for. Um, but yeah, so I'm back here with, um, without Chandler, uh, for uh, Tuesday Night Treasures with all your Marvel and independent books. Um, and your got a, got a novel on deck, got some collectibles and some cool stuff to go through. Not a super big day. I mean, there is a pretty decent chunk of comics today, uh, but uh, as big as last week was on collectibles, it's uh, big on comics this week, light on collectibles. So uh, with that, we'll get right into it. Anyway, all right, enough of the, enough of the silly guys. But if you want a crimson mask from Something's Killing the Children, we have them in stock. Uh, all you got to do is come in and ask for one. Or grab it off the shelf. But super cool. Uh, Something's Killing Children's awesome. Too bad that uh, they did do some some net gaiters and masks whenever uh, we were all having to run around wearing masks. Um, and that was cool. Um, but these would have been pretty cool to have back whenever we all had to wear masks all the time. But uh, it's still appropriate to wear masks in public. If you still want to wear a mask, you can absolutely wear a mask. So... If you need a super cool mask and you still like wearing masks, you get us something that's killing the children bandana. And uh, that one's mine. They're actually packaged a little bit. Nice. It's a nice ziplock. A nice little fold. But yeah. But if you want a scarlet mask, we got scarlet masks now. And I think I might have one or two black masks left too. So either way. Um, plus, Halloween time. Something's killing children. Super easy cosplay. Uh, if you want to be one of the fancies, you wear a suit and wear one of those masks and you're one of the fancies. If you want to be uh, one of the one of the fighters, grab black masks and wear whatever the hell you want, because that's pretty much all you got to do. But um, as always, um, we on Tuesdays, we're going to go over uh, our uh, Marvel and Independent books. They're a little little mixed in because we get them from all sorts of places now. We have three different distributors for comics now, so... We kind of mix it up a little bit, uh, but we'll just jump right into it. First, you've got a cool independent. I don't know what it's about. Pink Lemonade. But the art is kind of wild and wacky and looks kind of, kind of intriguing. Uh, next, you got a variant for it. So, pretty cool stuff. All right. Uh, and if anybody is listening to me or watching, let me know. Last night we had some issues with our microphone. We had to be a little loud. I tried to play with some settings today, so hopefully it's better. Um, if it is, let me know. If it's not, if I'm still really quiet, then we'll go back to the drawing board and figure something else out next time. Uh, Hard Eyes number two. Another cool vault independent. Born of Blood number one. All out war for the fate of Spartan. Looks pretty cool. Awesome uh, warrior lady. Next, we got Ant-Man number three. This is the Beyond Amazing um, variant. Looks like it. Yeah, it's also a Peach Momoko cover. So very pretty, very nice artwork. And we've got the regular cover for Ant-Man number three. TMNT Armageddon Game number one. I thought we already started this. Guess we didn't. I guess we just saw so many ads for it. Next, we got Captain America, Sentinel of Truth, and uh, even with no Chandler, we've got the Miracle Man variant because Chandler just ordered a crap ton of Miracle Man variants for everything that made one. But here's the regular cover and Black Panther Strikes. So Symbol of Truth with Mr. Sam Wilson Cap. Next, number two of Damage Control. 
We got a new Scott Snyder book, Dark Spaces Wildfire. Some firefighter goodness, some real life heroes. So we got a uh, very um, 80 centric Defenders Beyond I Am Phoenix. Some very uh, David Bowie kind of uh, vibes going on there. Gambit number three. Gambit number three, variant edition. Uh, everyone's favorite ponies are jumping on the uh, the holiday season. This is kind of cool. So my little, I won't say, okay, whatever. My Little Pony number five, Tales from the Lighthouse. The thing that I was saying was kind of cool is on the book that the little, that the little pony is reading, it says Salem's Herd instead of Salem's Lot. That's kind of funny. Uh, Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, number three. Oh, I'm sorry, it's just in the Ten Rings. Uh, <laughs> Legend of the Ten Rings was isn't that the full title of the movie? Ah, I'm just talking to myself at this point. Ah! Sonic the Hedgehog, number 53. Amazing Spider Man, Beyond Amazing. So, Amazing Spider Man, number 10, Beyond Amazing Story is going to be a major point, and there it is. Uh, a second printing of Edge of the Spider-Verse. So if you want your Spider-Rex and all your different Spider-Mans and Womans and Peoples, there you go. Miles Morales, Spider-Man, number 42. Legacy 282. Here is your Voices variant. Communidades. I'm sorry if I said that wrong bad with my Spanish pronunciations. I try. Uh, Miles Morales, number 42. Miracle Man variant. There you go, Chandler. Dr. Afra 24. Dr. Afra choose your destiny moment or uh, variant, which is Lord Momen. I'm not familiar with, with this Sith Lord, but he looks pretty cool. Dr. Afra variant. Actually, I think that's the, yeah, that's the A cover. That's the A cover. Han Solo and Chewbacca. Number six. This is a really cool variant. I might have to get one. The Choose Your Destiny variant for Han Solo and Chewbacca is Mace Windu with his purple lightsaber because that's the best color. Second printing of Mandalorian, number two picture of uh, Grogu on the on the cover. Good old-fashioned regular Star Wars number 26, The Path to Victory. Thor number 27, spinning his hammer, riding his goats. Actually, that's a dragon, I'm sorry. Looks like he's standing on a dead dragon. Predator variant of 27 for th Mr. Thor. Beaten down a Predator with Mjolnir. Predator looks like he's got that uh, nuke locked in because he knows he's going to lose. Thunderbolts number two. Uh, prepare to meet Egro the Unbreakable. Looks like a big celestial monster. That one might be a good one to pick up. Especially if it's a character introduction. Especially if the character ends up being popular. America Chavez variant of uh, Thunderbolts. Yet another variant of Thunderbolts. I think this is still Thunderbolts. Yes. Yet another America Chavez variant of Thunderbolts. Transformers Shattered Glass 2, Issue 2. And Shattered Glass 2, Variant, Issue 2. Marvel Voices communi Communidades. So this is uh, celebrating uh, Latin heritage. And you've got a, another variant there. Uh, AXE Avengers number one. With Mr. Tony Douche, I mean Stark on the cover. And a variant with him unmasked. X-Men number 15. 
X-Men number 15. Guess what kind of variant it is? It's Chandler variant. Miracle Man. And you're still rocking? Yeah. So Briar number one is a new Boom Studio ex uh Boom Studio property. That looks kind of cool. Eight Billion Genies, number five of eight. Laud is a new number one from Image Comics. Currently, this is probably our best-selling book. Grim, number five. Very cool looking. With a foil variant. Very shiny. With a virgin character variant. With a different virgin character variant. With a different virgin character variant. They do some pretty cool covers over at Bill. And Grimm is definitely one of their coolest books and cool art. Grimm Fairy Tales, number 64. I hate this place. Number five. Also, you have the variant of Fuck This Place, number five. Same book, just a variant. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, number 100. The Ranger foil variant. Ranger helmet foil variant. Your legacy variant with both the White Ranger and the Green Ranger on the cover. Your other variant your blank artist variant your one in 25 virgin variants your one in 10 death ranger action figure variants mr old dog by declan shalby red act one number one tim seeley the roadie Sounds like it could be fun. Could be kind of cool. Be like a demon in the background, some speakers. You got less paw or skulls in the back in the foreground. Hot girl wearing some big sunglasses. That looks like it'd be fun. Let's check out that one. It's pretty cool. The inside looks like the outside. I'll dig it. Scorched number 10. Chip Zdarsky, Stillwater, number 15. And Sarah Gailey, one of my favorite writers, The Vampire Slayer. This one is issue six. That one's rolling around, rolling up pretty good. Vampirelli, year one, number three. And probably the most significant book this week um, is Fortnite Marvel Zero War. I won't say significant, but this is issue five. So this series is now over. So if you got any extras, then uh, get that fast because it's the only way to get your DLC. Uh, that is all of the comics. So next, let's roll through the uh, graphic novels real quick. So we've got a cool little, I guess this is a kid's book. Yeah. Grumpy monkey. Who threw that? Which is funny because monkeys throw things. They throw poo. Um, from Shannon Waters and Brandon Boyer White and Bernice Nell Hollow. This is a modern retelling of Sleepy Hollow. Um, but uh, it is Isabel. Izzy Crane and her family have relocated to Sleepy Hollow. So, very cool, fun stuff. Follow. Uh, Spawn Omega. Collects 308 through 315 of Spawn. Purgatory. Witches get stitches. Snitch. Uh, and the big one for this week. Um, by Miss Lee Bardugo, part of the Grishoverse Demon in the Wood, uh, by Lee Bardugo and Danny Pendergrass. Uh, the Darkling's origin story comes alive in this exquisitely illustrated prequel to Shadow and Bone. Do some nice artwork. Ooh, oh, oh, so it has a dust jacket, which isn't bad. 
So I just accidentally saw the, oh, and the dust jacket is textured, but look what it looks like without the dust jacket. That's pretty nice. That's pretty pretty. And I like purple, so. Purple and silver is a nice combination. Very cool stuff. All right. Get that back in its dust jacket. So, Demon in the Wood. Pretty cool to the Grishaverse. And last but not least for the books, um, this is a paperback version of book one of the Books of Babel, uh, Sinlin Ascends. Book nerd gotta go save his wife in, in some shady places. So Sinlin Ascends, book one. We just got it in. It's not new, but we just got it. Because we're constantly expanding our fantasy books. That's cool. All right. That's all the books. Let's scoot this over here. So we can get into the toys and the collectibles. Cool. Okay. We'll do pop figures first because they're sitting right here close to me. First, um, we got Toru Mutsuki from Tokyo Ghoul. Tokyo Ghoul is pretty fun uh, horror style action. Uh, we got, we finally got, they've been sending these in weird waves. We finally got Gore the God Butcher from Thor Love and Thunder with his Necro Sword. Crypto from Apex Legends. They did a weird thing. Like, we also, like, we got a restock on the Gingerbread Spider-Man and Gingerbread uh, Iron Man. Last year's holiday figures. Um, we, we ordered a handful of them. We didn't get all the ones we ordered. And I guess now we're getting them. So, we got the more holiday stuff. At least it's not too late for this holiday. And so we've got the... Harley Quinn with her cool title belt. Previews exclusive 40th anniversary of Diamond. So she's cool. So she's in her wrestling attire instead of her uh, instead of her roller derby attire. So that's pretty cool. And this one's really cool. Ursula on her throne with her uh, eels and Very cool. All right. That's pop figures. So statues. We have some togas, but we have a new toga in stock. She's really, really fun and cool. Another toga statue from Bandai Ban Presto's line, Ban Presto line. Jujitsu Kaisen Zero. I do not know this guy's name, and the box is all in Japanese, so I can't tell you, but it looks pretty cool. Apparently, in the show, he has a scar on his head, but in the prequel movie, he does not. I was informed of that by Mercedes earlier. Got a cool red-haired Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z Dokken Battle. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't know what anime she's from, but she's a cute anime girl hugging a chili pepper. Kagura Nana is her name. But she is, for some reason, hugging a chili pepper. This one. Wish I would have taken him out of the box, because out of the box he looks really cool. Tengen Uzi from Demon Slayer. That's the picture he looks. That's the statue. Um, his, his swords are, like metallic paint so they actually look really sharp and really cool um, some extra photographs so he's pretty cool right next you like your model kits and you like the the um common rider you got a model kit for mass rider ryuki so super posable like all of these like model kits are um very cool has his little stand so you can build him and it looks like you can even build his little dragon thing that's with him drag redder oh yeah you can display him like that that's kind of cool all right so there's that next um our san diego comic-con stuff is still kind of trickling in and we have, so this statue is cool. 
Uh, it's been re-released several times with several different paint jobs, but it's the Dark Phoenix. It's Miss Jean Grey. We had a big, long discussion about her yesterday. Um, but her fire has the little Phoenix Force behind her. She is a super cool figure and a great paint job. So it's whenever they do these, um, the few times they've done them, like she's had a red suit. She's had, uh, this is this is the um, newest um, palette swap for this figure, but it's really cool. And it's uh, like the cover of 301. So straight up. Very cool. Um, and last but not least, it's actually two things that are last, but they're kind of a set. So uh, BSTAXN makes some pretty cool action figures. They like to do a lot of vintage style stuff or vintage characters with modern things. They've done a whole Ninja Turtle line. Well, they did a new Ninja Turtle line, and these are very limited. Um, but they are, it is two four packs. And they are, so you look at the front, and so you have the old classic artwork, the comic book artwork, that 40th anniversary. Um, but you have two of your Ninja Turtles, which in this one, you've got Donnie and Raph with their weapons. And then you've got Shredder, comic accurate Shredder, and a super uh, or a deluxe foot ninja uh, with cool samurai hat and some really cool weapons. And yeah, just looks awesome. So they have an accessory of weapons, various different hands, so you can switch them out. Um, and they are the comic book style. So everybody's got a red bandana and they, they even have a piece of pizza with them and some throwing stars and the Ninja Turtles come with two different heads. So they have different facial expressions, a um, handful of different hands so you can change out their weapons. And uh, do, 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 looks like maybe even stance. I don't know. But a lot of cool accessories in there. So you've got that one. And even just the packaging is really cool. Um, as a picture of both of them. 31 points of articulation on each figure. Um, swivel bicep and thigh joints, double knee, shoulder and elbows, maximum possibility. Each figure comes with multiple accessories. All the, all the stuff I just said. And then the other set is very cool. Same thing, traditional comic book art. Um, and this one has Leonardo and Michelangelo. And then two standard foot soldiers, one with a bandana and one without. And they also have a variety of weapons and interchangeable heads on the turtles for different expressions, multiple weapons for the ninjas, um, fun stuff, really cool things. Um, ah, what looked like a stand is actually like a, the back of their belt so they could, the back of their belt so they can hold their weapons on their belts. So that's kind of cool. Um, he comes with a manhole cover. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, very cool. Same thing. Similar artwork on the back. Yeah, Chris, uh, in the comics, um, they didn't have different colored masks. Um, whenever they first started getting any type of coloring, it was all red masks. That's why uh, the original video game was actually um, is actually produced and the um, all of the Basically, the original video game, the artwork they used was from issue two of the comics. So it just had, uh, they had red bandanas. Um, it wasn't until they got the comic book license, or not comic book, the TV show licensing, and kids couldn't tell them apart. So they decided that they needed to find dif differentiating ways to, uh, and uh, colored masks were the easiest way. So they just palette swapped the art. Um, it wasn't until later that they all individually got looks and like changed them up a little bit so that you can tell who they were without their masks. Um, but yeah, that's all the cool stuff that I have for you tonight. So, like I said, not a whole bunch of stuff, not a super long, uh, not a super long show tonight. Uh, I won't sit here and ramble to myself unless anyone wants to, unless one of the two people with, so which one of them is obviously Chris. I don't know who the other one is. But uh, unless y'all want to ask me anything, I'll stop rambling and I will let y'all all have your evening back. Oh.
Okay, cool. Well, thanks for spending a little bit of time with me. And uh, all of these things will be available in store tomorrow. And we can't wait to see you. And if we don't see you uh, in the shop this weekend, then we will see you on uh, the Charles and Chandler show on Monday. Uh, we are doing Marvel Nights. So we have some really cool stuff. I can ramble if I want. Hey, Jason, how you doing, bud? Um, yeah, so we're doing Marvel Nights like we discussed on Monday. And I will tell you that outside of all of our normal things that we have, um, our, uh, our, our Tuesday night hero clicks, our Friday night magic, our Saturday night Yu-Gi-Oh! We started to have a lot of people play MetaZoo on Sundays. And on October 8th, we will have a MetaZoo tournament that not only has prize support, but also has medals. You can win a medal. And those medals are kind of are, are pretty darn cool. So uh, MetaZoo tournament on October 8th. Um, keep an eye on our social media. I will post all of the information for those um, whenever they come in. Uh, I appreciate uh, you guys uh, spending some time with me. Y'all have a wonderful evening. Chris, I'll see you at work tomorrow. Jason, I'll see you around the store more than likely before too long. And everybody else who's watching this at some later time, um, I hope to see you around the store sometime soon. Y'all have a wonderful day. Good night.